this video series will provide an introduction to the Dolby IMS 3000 web user interface. The overview is made up of four short videos. This first video will walk the user through logging in, as well as provide an overview of the CineLister content and ingest menus. Out of the box, the unit is configured with the Ethernet 0 port to the following IP address. The computer's IP address should be within the same subnet or have a route to the IMS 3000 IP address. Use the default IP address when logging in. Enter the username and password credentials. The default usernames are DoReMi, Manager, or Admin. If the passwords are unknown, contact your administrator. The upper left corner of the IMS 3000 web user interface contains basic controls and monitoring options for the device. The power button allows the user to put the unit in standby mode, reboot, power off the unit, or log out from the server. Click the information icon to view basic information about the unit, such as the web UI and software versions, serial number, bundle version, and the permission level of the user currently logged in. Click the Session Viewer icon to view all users currently logged in to the IMS 3000. Notifications for the user are visible when the flag icon is clicked. A red flag indicates that there is an unread notification. This section displays the name of the device as set in the Network Configuration tab under the System Settings. Also displayed here is the Audio Processor Monitor output the current user and their access level, and the current time. This section provides quick access to the audio controls, including the mute function. The main audio fader level can be adjusted here. The VU meter is represented here and shows the channel levels. Clicking the Status menu option shows playback status and components, such as the RAID and Security Manager, as well as the upcoming schedule. Click on the Cinema Audio tab to see the current audio configuration, including the audio format the server is currently playing. Click the CineLister menu, and three tabs become visible at the top, Editor, Playback, and Scheduler. CineLister Editor is used to build show playlists. Select Available Content from the left panel, and it will appear within the Show Playlist panel to the right. Under the CineLister Playback tab, playback can be controlled with the playback function buttons. Under the CineLister Scheduler tab, the user is able to schedule saved show playlists days or weeks in advance. The content menu includes five tabs that allow the management and retrieval of detailed information for the composition playlist, decryption keys, also known as KDMs, show playlists, and licenses that are stored on the IMS 3000. The Composition Playlist tab displays content information such as kind, format, channel, duration, and UUID. For detailed information, click on the content name, which also allows CPL-based audio mapping and delete protection. The same type of detailed information can be seen for KDMs, which allows a quick way to verify if a KDM is valid for the server. The ingest menu consists of three tabs. The ingest scan tab is used to scan any external drive or network server to discover content that can be loaded onto the server. Select the content to be ingested onto the IMS 3000's internal or network attached storage. The ingest monitor tab displays the ingest progress for the content being loaded. From this tab, the ingest process can also be refreshed, deleted, paused, resumed, or canceled. The upload feature allows the user to install licenses, software bundles, or other Dolby approved packages to the IMS 3000. This completes part one of the Dolby IMS 3000 web UI overview. Continue the series of videos to learn more about the Dolby IMS 3000 web user interface.